from Tamara. We've got some very intense personal ones this time. So we're, uh, we're going to read these from Tamara. Hello, great and wise man. I guess it's to you, Rob. I'm, no, no, it's me. <laughs> I'm, having, I'm having a difficult time in my marriage due to my husband's tendency to tear a strip off me whenever some little thing goes wrong. That means criticize or an attacker. Granted, he does a lot and is an incredibly hard worker and a great father to our three boys. He has a high-pressure lifestyle full of work and balancing the kids' schedule, as do I. I'm a stay-at-home mom. However, I'm his emotional punching bag, and I believe I'm taken for granted since we don't believe in divorce. I grew up without a dad and was hell-bent on doing life properly when it came to my own children, but I find myself increasingly saddened and jaded at the state of our marriage and looking at apartments and divorce lawyers online. I'm no pushover. I stand up for myself, but I'm exhausted at having to stand up for myself my my boys are unfortunately watching us fight too. My husband can't understand why I would rather watch a million episodes of the Michael Knowles show than ever have sex with him. That is bad. Things are really going wrong here. And <laughs> even one episode would be <laughs> it would be too much. He keeps telling me the problem is that I can't forgive when forgive is all I've done for the past 15 years of our marriage. I think the problem is I have no more trust in him or faith that he'll ever be good to me. I need to know how to get through to him as I really am growing tired of all the berating and belittling. I'm being subjected to. I really did not sign up for that in my life when I decided to get married. Uh, first of all, obviously, when I get uh, a letter, I only know what you tell me in the letter, and I'm going to take it at face value. But, but I also think there are two sides to every story, and you do want to look at yourself and just say, okay, where's where's my contribution in this? You know, am I am I making a contribution? Maybe you're not. I don't know. I'm just gonna, but I'm gonna take your email at face value and just assume that you are in the right. First. If that's the case, if he is really being this hypercritical of you and for and taking everything out on you, I, I have to challenge your assertion that he's being a great father to your three boys. Uh, your three boys are not seeing how to treat a lady and how to treat a wife and how to cherish somebody. And the most important thing a father can do is create a world of respect and love in the household. And he can't do that if you're constantly you know, pounding on your wife and picking on her, whether you're working hard or not. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you're working hard. If you have three boys, and I assume if you've been married 15 years, then they're all still at home and they're all still pretty young. Divorce is a very, very serious thing. It's going to shatter their world. It's going to be a big deal. However, you do not have to be abused. And that is, that's what's happening. Taking your letter at face value, you are being abused. That is abuse. It's emotionally abusive and it's wrong and there's no excuse. That's, that's it. So here is what I would suggest. The one thing you do not want to do is threaten divorce and not mean it. And the one thing you want to, do not want to do is go through with the divorce before you have tried every possible thing you can to fix this situation. So what I would do in your situation is this. I would first come to a decision. Do I mean it? Do I, am I ready to leave? Am I going to go? Will I do it? Because there's no bluffing about this. If you bluff, you only make the situation worse. If you come to the decision that you are ready to leave, that you're ready to go, then I would go to my husband and say to him, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I'm I'm ready to leave. I cannot do this anymore. You have hurt me too badly. I'm ready to get a divorce. But I would happily save this marriage with you if you will come into couples counseling with me. I will happily save it if you will come into couples counseling with me. But if you will not, I'm leaving. If you will not, you got to go. There's no uh, bluffing about this because if you bluff, you just make it worse. It just goes on and on and on forever. Okay. But if he will say, if he says, as I hope he will, because by the way, a lot of husbands, this is just true. A lot of husbands don't take this situation seriously until the wife actually walks out and then they're shocked. They're absolutely shocked. This happens again and again. The husband suddenly says, what? What happened? You know, she says, I've been telling you for 10 years that you've been abusing me. Yeah, but you didn't say we were going to leave. So if he says, which I hope and believe he will, he says, yes, I will go into couples therapy, then put all your money on it. You know, you got to really do it. You got to really go into it. You got to find a good therapist, listen to what he or she tells you, uh, you know, work together to patch this marriage up for the sake of your children. It doesn't have to be Cinderella. It doesn't have to be a romance, but it can't be abusive, right? Because these children need their parents. They need both their mom. They need both their dad. If, if possible, they need them in the same house, treating each other with love and respect. And, you know, uh, obviously, uh, in the case of sex, if you're denying sex uh, as a weapon, you can't do that. But I can see why you wouldn't want to have sex with someone who's abusing you. You got to solve this problem for your kid's sake. You really do. And uh, so if you actually mean it and you're ready to go, tell your husband you're ready to go. But 
you're willing to work it out and then work it out.